Are you considering an online school like WGU? Well, if you are, stick around because I'm going to tell you why I dropped out. I left WGU this January 2020 after attending for one year. Stupid. Why'd I do it? Well, long story short, I was offered an apprenticeship with IBM, and after doing both at the same time for six months, I decided to devote myself to the apprenticeship and IBM. And in this video, I'm going to show you the thought process that went behind me making that decision, with three key points to help me make that decision. The first one definitely being liking this video and subscribing to my channel, which I would greatly appreciate. So first I'm going to list those three points for you guys so you don't have to watch the entire video if you don't really want to. But I highly recommend it because I do explain those, these three points in detail later on. So to start these three points, I'm going to have marketplace value, then we're going to go over quality of learning, and then the job opportunities that come with each choice. So we're going to start off with marketplace value. And in terms of marketplace value, online college is nationally accredited. So that means a lot of people are going to really trust that, that degree whenever they look at it. Whereas with the apprenticeship, we have the backing of a tech giant, like in my situation, IBM. And that also lends their credibility to the apprentices as well. So I think they're kind of tied in that area. Both of these also have cons on the marketplace. For example, with online college, it's not really a recognizable school. So I might not get as much credibility as someone who went to, let's say, like an Ivy League school or a top 50, top 100 school even. And for the apprenticeship, it's a relatively new program. So I don't really know how people are going to perceive it whenever they look at it. So that's why it was tough to decide based off only this one point. So that's why I have two more. As for quality of learning, the online school has a bunch of resources that you can have at your disposal for each course, and they also have a teacher and a mentor and your other classmates that can help out. Whereas with the apprenticeship, you have all the other employees of IBM that are always happy to help you. And also at the apprenticeship that I attended, there we had great online resources as well. And even when some were dated, they provided us with newer materials to work with, like that were uh, on Udemy, for example. The, with the learning materials and resources on, on, with online college, there were some cons. For example, the meetings with my teachers and cohort were actually at very inconvenient times for someone like me who was an employee. I was working while I was going to school, and because of that, I couldn't attend the 9 a.m. meetings that they had to answer student questions and everything. And while I could have messaged my teacher or whatever, I just, whatever reason, I had anxiety, it's too lazy, I was too lazy, it just didn't happen. And also the learning materials were pretty dated at times and they're not really going to change their materials on like right away. They have to go through a bunch of like accreditation bureaus, I guess, to make sure that their computer science program is still legitimate. And uh, one gripe I had was that Zybooks sucks. I don't like Zybooks. It was a horrible experience. It was very boring. And I, I'm glad I don't have to deal with it anymore. The only real con I could think of at the apprenticeship in regards to the learning materials and resources was that we had a loose curriculum. And with that loose curriculum, so someone who knows how to program well would do very well because they can put the pieces together and do the projects. But for someone who's a beginner, they wouldn't really know how to navigate their way through all these technologies to come up with the product I mean, the project, the project that they need to. When it comes to job opportunities, the online college has a really big advantage of giving you that checkbox with HR. So if you fin if you have your degree, you basically are more credible than someone who's off the street right away. HR will look at you and say, "Oh, this person has a degree. This other person does not. This other person probably has to prove themselves a lot more than the person with the degree already, because they've basically proven themselves in a sense already." And uh, job opportunities with the apprenticeship, the most clear pro that I can see is that there's a clear path to employment if you do well in the apprenticeship. So they don't guarantee you a job after, you, after the apprenticeship, but it's very likely if you do well in the apprenticeship. And that clear path to employment was really a big motivator, especially for me, when it's very difficult for me to keep motivated for different goals if I don't really see where I'm going, if I can't see the goal. 
In regards to job opportunities, one of the big cons of an online school is that a lot of people look down on online schools. I don't personally, but some people will look at a no-name school, no-name online university, and immediately discredit them just because they have some kind of inherent bias about online schools. And those kind of questions really make you doubt yourself the entire time you're attending the school, which makes it hard to pay that tuition every semester. And the only real con I can think about with the apprenticeship in terms of job opportunities is that you have a relatively low starting pay. And I say relatively because I got a pay bump from going into IT because I used to work at a restaurant. But some, for some people, that might not be a lot of money. And I mean, you're not going to be going in getting 100K plus like you would, for example, in a junior dev position somewhere if you already had a degree. But again, this is for people like me who don't have many other options and want desperately to have a career change. And of course, you can normalize your pay out later on by delivering great results. So after considering all of this, about halfway through my apprenticeship, and which was a year into my WGU journey, I decided to drop out of WGU and just devote myself completely to IBM and the apprenticeship. I know not everyone's going to get the opportunity to be in an apprenticeship, and I was incredibly lucky, and I'm very grateful for that. But if you ever get the opportunity, if you see a posting for an apprenticeship and you're looking to switch into IT, I highly, highly recommend it. Soon, it might become like the next junior dev where it becomes saturated. So you want to get your feet in this now. All you have to do is Google, say, Microsoft apprenticeship, uh, Apple apprenticeship, um, any apprenticeship. You know what I mean? Just type in a big tech company and the word apprenticeship into Google and you'll find, you might, you might find something. I want to make it clear that I'm not dissing college at all. I think college is great for people who need some kind of credibility and they don't have other options. It's just that there's more than one way to get that credibility. If you're real guys, it's Code Pony out. Peace.